Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, we're talking about an options trading strategy called the Zebra. The Zebra is an awesome strategy to add into your toolbox, especially if you like owning shares of stocks. This will let you do that synthetically and use your capital more efficiently. Uh, this strategy is called the Zebra, and what that stands for is the Zero Extrinsic Back Ratio Spread. And this is a stock replacement strategy, so once you put this on, you get the one-to-one -one benefit as though you own a stock, but you do have a max defined loss because of the dynamic delta. Like you're slower losing value than if you owned 100 shares of the stock. So it's really cool because it's as though you're long the stock, but safer or you have more things working for you. The It requires less capital. So an example I'm going to be doing in Thinkorswim is going to be uh, Apple. Like a position that would cost twelve thousand dollars only costs you like four thousand, so about a fourth of the capital to put on this position, but you still get the benefit of owning a hundred shares essentially. You can sell cover calls against it, so there are people in our Discord server that love using this strategy because they use it instead of a PMCC, and we'll get into that a little later. Uh, the zebra is typically good for tickers that are trading a lower IV. You can find some with high IV that the strategy does work and other times like if you're doing like a meme stock like amc it the, the, the numbers just don't work because there's too much extrinsic value in all the options so why would you run a zebra over buying a call well the first thing is your break even or your point of profit is a lot better than if you were just to buy a call at the money and that's because you start making money as soon as the stock moves up from exactly where it is but you're basically long 100 shares by using this strategy. Whereas if you bought a call, you have to wait until you get past your strike price and what you paid for that option before you start making money. So it's you get to that point of profit a lot quicker using a Zebra than if you were just to buy a call outright. You can use it to also replace your PMCC strategy. Like I know I could use this to replace mine. Sometimes I have, but not too often. Uh, your short strike break even is lower than if you would do my version of the PMCC because like we said, you start making money as soon as the stock moves up. You don't have to wait until you get past your the value that you paid for the call option in addition to your strike price. So it's pretty neat because your short strike break even is short or closer to the money, which means you can sell options closer to the money, which means more income. So it can also be used instead of a PMCC. And I think I already said it. You can also, you know, it's better than a stock because you still get the one-to-one -one benefit to the upside, undefined, unlimited gain. And you lose slower than if the price goes down because of the dynamic delta as you go down. And you do have a max defined loss instead of owning the stock. So the goal of setting this up is that you're selling one contract at the money or near the money. And then you're going in the money to buy two contracts where the extrinsic value adds up to be the value of the short contract that you, you sold. And typically this will happen at 0.7 delta and 0.5 delta. And what's neat about this is if you add these up, 0.7 plus 0.7, subtract 0.5, you're at a 0.9 delta position, which is why the stock, this position stimulates a one-to-one -one gain as the stock moves up. So that's pretty cool. And managing the zebra is actually pretty simple. You don't have to touch it until your long calls become at the money. And when that happens, that's when you close it down and you reestablish the, the position. That's because you're still not at your max loss depending on like when this happens. But by reestablishing the position, you, you earn that one-to-one -one movement if the stock goes up. Whereas if you let this sit there, you're going to have to wait for that delta to raise back up because you're going to be earning less than the one-to-one -one moving up as the price goes up. So you just close it down, reestablish it to move the strikes to get it back to that perfect sweet spot. And if there's less than 21 days, you just want to do it on the next cycle if you're doing the shorter. All right, so now I'm jumping into the Thinkorswim platform. I'm going to show you how you put on a couple of these trades. And I'm using the on-demand feature. And I clicked on Analyze and Add Simulated Trades to get to this point. It's great for, like, looking at strategies and how they work. Uh, as I said, you want to be at 21 to 45 days out if you're looking for like a shorter-term position. They're easier to manage. They cost less than if you go do a leap, although you can do leaps. So we'll go over that shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the August 13 strike here. And the two columns that you're really paying attention to are the extrinsic value here and the delta. But we want our short strike to be around 0.5 delta, which is typically at the money. So right here, I'm just going to jump right here and uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and do the 39. So I'm going to sell this guy. Now we want to find an in-the-money call. We're having two of those equals the extrinsic value here, or maybe even a little better. So first I look for 0.7 delta, which would be probably one of these two positions that I'll be looking at. But I see that the 133 strike, the extrinsic value, if I multiply this by 2, does not equal this. So this would be 4.08. This is 4.3, basically. So moving one up, this is 4.6, which is higher than that, so that's good. We're also at about 0.7 delta, which is what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two of those guys. And now if we go to the risk profile, you can see what this looks like. For those of you that have never seen this before, at the bottom is the stock price. So if you move around the chart, you can see what your profit is depending on the stock price. The blue line is my date of expiration, so what this position would be worth when it expires. And this bottom left corner, that's where you can see what it, how much profit you made. Now you can see my break even starts off pretty close at the money. I think it's based on the fills here that's a little higher than exactly at 139.2. But you'll see that as we move up a dollar here, we're getting a hundred dollars. So 139.8. Let's move to 140.8. And if you look at that left corner, you can see that we made $100. So you're getting that one-to-one -one movement as though you own 100 shares. And that's pretty cool because if you look at your max loss or what it takes to secure this position, it's only $1,080. Whereas buying 100 shares of Apple at 139 would be $13,900. So if you wanted to, you could put on, what is that, 12 of these positions and then every $1 movement is you know, $1,200 in your pocket versus $100 if you were to use that same capital to buy 100 shares. It's a really cool strategy. Another neat thing about this is you can go around and use it and sell some short cover calls against it. So maybe go out a week. Since your break even is at the money, you can go aggressive. Maybe do the 140. Eh, we'll even be safe and go 141. I could sell this guy two weeks or one week out, pick up 50 bucks. If it gets breached, just close everything down. I made 50 bucks. And I could do this, what, seven times in that contract that we set up here. So you could use this to sell calls because they're covered positions because you have a synthetic stock replacement strategy running in the background. Pretty neat. Okay, so now that we showed the, uh, the shorter one, what about using it to replace a leap? Let's go down here and set one up real quick. So again, we want to look for like 0.5 delta. So one of these two options would be what you want to look at. I guess we'll stick with being near the money. So we'll do the 140 again. So we sell this guy. And then we want at least 0.7 delta where the extrinsic value times 2 equals this. And it looks like we actually have one right here. So we'll go ahead and buy this guy, the 120. Buy two of those. Risk profile. And here you go. You can see same thing. As soon as the stock is above 140, which is a dollar away from where it is now, we'll be getting that one-to-one -one price increasement or that one-to-one -one profit as though we own the stock. And then going to the left, our max loss is the premium that we paid to enter this position. So this costs 4000 and if you want to, you can use this to replace the poor man cover call beat position. You can sell cover calls against this ratio spread, which is pretty cool because the first thing you can notice is your break even point is already at the money. So you could sell your cover calls really close. Whereas if you were to buy a uh, leap to do the poor man cover call, you'd be looking at like at least 0.8 delta, maybe 0.9. Point nine to simulate what we're getting here, and that would cost more than what we're buying the zebra for. Point eight is where I tend to go for my minimum, and that's about the same. But if you add up the the extrinsic value, sorry, if you add in the price compared to the strike here, so one hundred five plus forty, my break even starts at one forty five, whereas the ratio, my break even starts at one forty. So I can sell close to the money, make more money against that position. Uh. So I said that we've been doing everything with calls. You can also do this with puts to create a bearish position or simulate being short 100 shares.
and it, it works just the same way. So right here, we do at the money. We'll sell the put at the money. Let's get rid of those other two trades. And then we'll buy a call around 0.7 delta, where the extrinsic value times 2 is greater than this, which would be the 145. Put on two of these guys. Uh, risk profile. And now you can see we simulate being short 100 shares with a max loss over here. And every dollar that the stock moves down, we get $100 in our pocket. Something to note is that this pink line also shows you what the profit or loss would be based on whatever date we choose here. So in this example, let's go ahead and move this up. Say it's been about a week. Say Apple went against us you know, about 10 bucks. We're down to 149 you know, our max loss is 1180 because of the way that the deltas work. We're only down 800, so we're not even at our max loss, even if the stock moved against us pretty quickly here. And this is great because if we want to, we can reestablish the position and set it up so that if Apple starts going down, we can make our money back quicker. And with that all said, I think that covers the strategy pretty well. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I love responding to those, and have a good weekend, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Any information included in this video is for information and entertainment purposes only. It's not intended to be investment advice.